Hello Stamper! Welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up, and today it's another jar card. This time it's just a regular card, like a happy birthday. We can turn it in a gift card too, but I'm going to share with you how i done this. So, um, I want to untie this one because we're going to do this one. We're going to use a piece of uh, card stuff. This is Smoky Slate that measure three and a quarter by 11. And we're going to score at five and a half. And then we're going to take our envelope punch board. So this is one of my favorite one because of the shape. It really looks like a, more like a long, um, cannot find my bone folder. Here it is. It really looks more like a, a long jar. I like it. Now we're going to take this, keep this full in two. Well, it's not quite there. Make sure it's lined up correctly there. Here we go. Now we're going to put this on our envelope punch board. Better if I work this way. Again, right at one. Punch this, turn it around, and punch this. Now you're going to take the top here, put it in the back to round the corner. Punch, flip it and punch. See how simple this was? Now we're going to take our, um, this measure three and a three quarter by six and a half. I like to do it all at once so it's a lot easier and that is the same than I did the other one. You're going to score, you're going to put the silver facing down. The side that you want face up need to face down. Use the fine tip on your score. Score at one eight. Score at a quarter and three eight. So really it's the first three line you're going to score. Boom. You get your lid. Now let me remove this. We're going to cut this now oops, at three and a half. I'm sorry, three and a quarter, the same width than the other one. So we're going to cut this at three and a quarter. Et voila. And now we have to round those corners for our lid. So I think we can put that together. And there. And I just flip it on the other side. There. Make sure they stay together. So that way you can do both at the same time. Et voila. Now we get that done. Now for the designer sewer paper, this is the first frost. All the measurements, all supplies would be listed on my blog below in the description. You get the direct link or above in the eye. Now this one here measure three and one eight by four. And I like to use the tumble just in case if I'm not that straight, that allow me to move it around. And you can skip having some on your fingers. That would help. Here we go. And we're going to put that right here. Just a little tiny border. Touch the corner right there. Et voila. Now for the lid, where you got... Cuts. Where you get the three, uh, that's kind of the ridge where, you know, you screw the lid. That's going to go at the bottom and the longer piece at the top. Now you can put the glue right here and some right here. Not too much on right on the side because sometimes a little bit going to see on the thing. Now I'm going to take this, put that on top, line that up very good at the top here. So you see you get a little bit showing at the bottom. We could trim that. I just leave it that way. Now press this. Now we're going to do the same in the back. So it looks like you get a full lid there. If they turn the car in the back. Now again, the top. It's the top that you don't have the ridge. And I feel the sliding. Here we go. So that's why with a tombow, you can move it around. Yes, I learned the hard way. Et voila, how simple that was. Now let's open this up. 
and now this one for uh, the insert inside I didn't do all the top just did the part the bottom there so this here the white piece measure four by three and one eight and oops I was lucky there just a tiny little border again and again this one so you can decorate it the way you want flowers whatever okay now if you let's say you want a gift card but you want the long skinny one that way what you can do is take a piece of cardstock I would take in the smoky slate let me reach for another piece here and I would do three and three uh, three and a quarter because that's the width of this would that be right okay three and a quarter and then I would do one and a quarter here we go so you get this hmm did I went too far oh yeah I didn't measure right okay three and a quarter now what you're gonna do if you want to do a gift card or you can do just a plain card then you would not do this step I take the one and a quarter inch take this try to match that about the center that look about right here we go now what you're gonna do it's cuz your gift card it's almost the same width than this you cannot do it this way it's too long so it's going to go this way you just want to put a little bit of glue a little bit of glue and you don't need any at the bottom because this one it's inside so um, what you're going to do take the tombow glue a tiny little bit here and a tiny little bit there Another thing you can do is use and put that right at the bottom here. You can use um, just glue dots and then your gift card would slide right up here. The perfect size. So in the back you can put, you know, enjoy, whatever you want to put. And then you get placed right or a different greeting. Now this is going to get close. Now for the greeting, I use the one and a half and one and a quarter and I use the app birthday like I said all the supplies will be uh, listed on the blog uh, on the yeah blog this was a beautiful bouquet now this one I just use a little and I had stamped to a um, little flower from that set you can take this on your greeting oh that's a big uh, where's my oh here's a little one here so and I would take my powder pink and this is a uh, blackberry bliss and add a little bit of a little bit more decoration while I get that I can do a little border here and then you still have place to write here we go very simple now let's close this I use the ruffle uh, ribbon we're going to put this around and I'm using the baker's twine and you see I never measure nothing I'm, I'm sorry I know most many of you would like measurement I just cut and go I'm gonna have the measurement for the cardstock that I do have from the front to the back here voila now you're gonna do tie this up twist going to decide about how much you want to here we go just do a little knot here oh no we're going to do a bow leave it like that we're going to slide this right one under I'm sorry I forgot what I done slide one under 
at the top and one at the bottom. So you see one thread there, one thread there. Okay. Now bring this one there. So this go in between your ribbon here. And really, I want that to crisscross on my knot. Let's bring that here. Okay, now we're back in business here. So, tie this, and that it's in between your knot. One under, one at the top. I keep my finger there. And then do a knot. This is no bow on the ruffle ribbon. It's just hanging loose. Et voila. Now you can move it a bit. Here we go, that's about right. Now you can take this here and do yourself a little bow. So I always say it's better sometimes to do a little bit longer so you get more place to work with than too short and then you're uh, a little bit difficult to do a bow. Here we go, now you're gonna pull and pull. Or you can do just a knot. I know some people say, I'm so challenged with bow. Or you can do just a knot. But see, now this is going to hang with the little bow. We're going to cut that sideways and sideways. Et voila. This one, it's cricket a little bit. We won't fuss with it. And voila. This one, see, I had much longer thread. So this is it, how to do the long jar. And yes, this will fit in a regular envelope. See? It fit very nicely in a regular envelope. Yes, it's a little bit loose there, but it still fit perfectly. So this is it, how to do um, a skinny jar with the envelope board. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, happy stamping. And again, visit my blog at frenchystamps.com. Link direct to this blog with all measurement. Bye-bye for now.